Hey guys, once again, this is Sam from Uppercut. I'm here today from Uppercut Boxing, a boutique boxing gym that combines traditional boxing with high intensity workouts. So I'm gonna share the sweet science of boxing with you today through a 45 minute workout. And this is what we have for you in the first section. Okay, so before we get right into it, two things we need to sort out. One is your equipment setup. You're gonna need two water bottles, all right? Fill them up with water. If you have one kilo dumbbells, that would be great as well. All right, so over here you can see I have my two um, 100 plus bottles. So you don't have to grab them just yet. You can grab them when we go for a short break once, the, once this first segment is over. Now, the second thing is this, all right? We're gonna sort out your fight stance and your six punches to get started with boxing. So. If you're left-handed, you want to mirror everything on the same side, looking at your screen. And if you are right-handed, everything's going to be on the opposite side. All right, so first up, I want you to just put both your feet together, okay? Take your right foot out, that will be your left foot if you're left-handed. So again, everything on the same side, you want to mirror if you are left-handed. All right, so right foot, pivot it out 90 degrees, bring it back, shoulder width apart, take your left foot, point it in the same direction, S, all right? Your right foot, Turn your head and look over your shoulder. I, I want you to look down at your feet for me right now. You should see that one foot is in front of you and one is behind of you. All right, from this position, my left foot is my front foot and my right foot is my back foot. And these are the terms I'm going to be using moving from here on out. So if you're left-handed, again, it's the other way around. Okay, so what I want you to do next is this. Take your back hand, index finger up to your temples, tuck your elbow in, make sure your forearm is straight. All right, lift up your left hand, also known as your front hand, okay? And make sure that your front forearm is parallel with your back forearm, but it's both staggered this way, all right? So don't have both of them next to each other, all right? Now, what I want you to do next is this. Slight bend in your knees onto the balls of your feet, tuck your chin in, and this is your fight stance. All right, we're going to move on to your six punches now, all right? Let's... There's six punches in boxing and your first two punches are known as your straight punches, your jabs and your crosses. So punch number one, your jab. Picture this, a huge window right in front of you and you're holding a cup of water in your front hand. Bring that cup of water out the window, empty it and notice how your shoulder rotates up to your cheekbone. That's what you want. Keep your back hand up high, bring it back in. So let's go through that one again. All right, out the window, turn it in. Full extension in your elbows, palms facing down, punching at eye level, bring it back in. Punch number two is your cross. Your cross exactly the same as your jab, just that it has that knockout power in it, all right, because it's thrown with your dominant hand. So same thing, holding that cup of water, bring it out the window, turn it in, and again, see how that shoulder rotates up to your cheekbone? That's what you want, okay? And bring it back in. Now, punches number three and number four are your hooks. Now, your straight punches are punches that travel in a straight line. Your hooks are punches that comes from the side. So you're just generating a sideward force right now. I'm going to split the hook into two movements for you, okay? Now, we're going to start with our front hook and I want you to look down at my front foot. So with my front foot right now, I just want you to just turn that front foot in. That's the first movement with the front hook. Second movement, bring your front elbow up high, 90 degrees to your body, palms facing you, first two knuckles in, backhand back up to your face, all right? Now make sure this is 90 degrees and not tilted 45 and not tilted down as well, okay? So first thing, turn that front foot and then bring the elbow in 90 degrees to your body. Same thing with the back hook. Turn your back foot in and with that turn, bring your elbow up high, 90 degrees to your body, front hand back up to your face. All right, and for your last two punches, uppercuts, you've got punches that come straight, punches that come from the side, and your last two punches comes from under. But it doesn't mean you need to drop your hand to throw the punch, it only means you're generating an upward force. And how you generate this upward force again, all right, I'm gonna split it into two movements for you, the drop and the drive. Again, you wanna drop some of that weight all right, onto your front foot from here, the drive. Again, you want to turn that front foot in, driving your first two knuckles up the ceiling, palms facing you, forearm and elbow resembling a V. Same thing with that back uppercut. Drop, 
Okay, and again, turn that back foot in, drive. First two knuckles up the ceiling, palms facing you, forearm and elbow, A V. All right, so we're gonna get right into our warm up so you don't forget your punches, okay? So we're gonna start by throwing nice and light straight punches on my count in three, two, and one. Straight punches. Now I want you to get into the habit of resetting every single time you throw a jab and you throw a cross, all right? So jab, cross, reset back into your fight stance. If your hand isn't out, it's back in here your, beside your cheekbones, okay? So jab, cross, reset. Jab, cross, reset. Jab, cross, reset. Jab, cross, reset. And from here, I want you to just take a look at my back foot. When I throw a cross, I'm turning my back foot in or you can simply drop it down into a half lunge that allows your hip to turn in, putting your body weight behind your punch, okay? Jab, cross, let's go for 10 more seconds. I want you to try to drop right, that half lunge in with your back foot. In three, two, and one. Now next time we're gonna move on to continuous hooks. All right, I want you to continue to throw this hook for the next 45 seconds. Get yourself used to the movement. All right, make sure your elbows are 90 degrees with your body. Make sure you're punching at eye level. Make sure your fist isn't facing the back because your opponent's always gonna be in front of you. And make sure your palms aren't too far out, okay? And don't punch all the way through. All right, picture this, a center point right in front of you. You're hitting that center line and you're coming back to your face. Hitting that center line and coming back to your face. Let's go. Over here, I want you to just look down at my hips as well. Look down at my feet. I'm not just throwing my hands, but my feet and my hips are following through. That's because 80% of the power, 80% of the work in boxing is done with your lower body. So take your, hand, take your mind off your hands for a little bit and just think about what your feet and what your hips are doing. Five more seconds on your hooks. Three, two, and one. All right, if you feel a little bit of heat in your shoulders right now, we're gonna move on to your uppercuts. So again, let's start slow. Both hands back up into your fight stance. Drop and drive. Drop and drive. So when you start picking this up, all right, your drop's gonna be slightly exaggerated as you wanna get leverage down low here to feel that weight drop to throw that uppercut. But once you get it, all right, that drop doesn't have to be too Exaggerated, all right? You can drop a little bit, you can just drop your body instead of dropping, all right? Your entire hip, your entire weight to one side. So just drop your shoulder, drive. Notice how none of my hands are dropping, all right? My hands are not dropping down for me to throw the punch. It always comes from my face. Last five seconds in three, two, one, and time. Now this is where we take that heart rate all the way up. We're gonna go for 40 seconds of high knee runs, okay? Knees up high, above your waist, chest out, back straight. We go on my count in three, two, and one. High knee runs. Now on your high knee runs, I want you to stay light on the balls of your feet. Every time you put that feet down, you shouldn't be hearing a loud thumb, but light, you're always staying light because the tips Right? The ball of your feet is touching the ground first as you bring your feet down. You can swing your, side, your arms side to side. Helps you keep balance. Chest out, back straight. Last 10 seconds, I want you to pick up the pace. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now next up, butt kickers. Heels to your bums. Okay, keep that chest out back straight to stay balanced as well. Same thing, we're gonna go for 40 seconds. I'm going at an okay pace here. All right, but you wanna challenge yourself, go ahead, pick up the pace. Like, you know, tomorrow's a weekend. If you're planning to pig out, or today's a public holiday, if you're already pigging out, right, you wanna get that extra calorie burn in, I want you to start to pick up the pace. 15 more seconds, come on. Last five seconds. Three, two, and time. All right, guys. 
Next up, we're going to work on some simple combinations and start punching for real. All right, in boxing, we throw more than just two punches. Okay, so first up, we're going to start with three punch combinations. Punch number one, jab. Number two, cross. And that last one, front hook. So with punches, every hip turn is a punch. So I want you to feel your hips turn in. All right, especially on those crosses and your front hook. All right, jab, cross, front hook. Remember, jab, cross, turn that back foot down, half lunge, front hook, turn that front foot in, all right? Now, those of you who've been through this combination, I want you to go light on the jabs, jabs in your crosses, hard and heavy on those hooks, all right? So quick exhale on those jabs in your crosses, and hard exhale on that front hook, all right? Let's go for another five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna add just one more punch into that combination. Okay, so we worked with jab, cross, front hook, back hands back to your face, that hand is free to throw a back hook. So jab, cross, and two hooks. We're gonna go for 45 seconds, let's go. Now make sure every time you bring your hands back, your elbows are not flaring out like this, all right? Make sure that your elbows are tucked in and your elbows will always stay in as you turn your fist out, all right? As you turn your fist out, as you bring that arm out, all right, your elbows shouldn't come up. Especially when you're turning your hips in together with your punches, all right? It's guiding the direction of your fist, okay? Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now, not last up, we're gonna bring our uppercuts in as well. Bring it up to a six punch combination. Jab, cross, front hook, back hook, front up, back up. All right, all six punches in, in three, two, and one. Jab, cross, front hook, back hook, front up, back up. Shoulders should be warmed up by now. Now here's what I want you to try, all right? Now that your shoulders are warm, you start to feel a little bit tense up here from keeping your hands up high. Now in boxing, okay, you only flex when you throw the punch. So if you're not throwing the punch, stay nice and relax. Only when you throw that punch, you tense up. And right after that combination, go back to being nice and relaxed. And when you throw that combination, tense up. And go back to being nice and relaxed. Last five seconds, in three, two, and one. All right, now, for the next two minutes, I'm just gonna go through on our focus of the day. Okay, so this week, all right, we decided to work on footwork. Saf, yes, Safil yesterday worked on forward and backward movement, all right? Now, today, I'm gonna work on lateral movement. So when you box, all right, nobody's gonna stand there for you to punch them. More often than not, you're gonna have to chase them, right, by moving your feet. More often than not, you're gonna have to punch on your feet. Okay, so today, it's lateral movement. So, again, I want you to stay in your fight stance. Don't exit from your fight stance. Now, if you're trying to move, okay, to the left, your left foot always move first. Doesn't matter if you are left-handed or right-handed, all right? So if you're moving towards the left, okay, left foot moves first. All right, and every time you step, your back foot will always, right? The other foot will always follow, okay? So if I'm stepping to the right right now, okay? And I'm right-handed, my right foot moves first, my left foot, foot follows. So if my left foot, my right foot moves an inch, my left foot moves an inch as well, all right? And if my left foot moves an inch, okay, to the left, so that's my right, all right? Otherwise, you're gonna keep stepping and your stance is just gonna widen and you just end up doing a split. Okay, so make sure I always bring that feet in, right? I want you to give that a go right now. All right, so step to the right, right moves first, followed by the left. So always make sure, always remember, every time you step, it's two steps, okay? If it's to the left, it's left, right. If it's to the right, it's right, left. Doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. I want you to go a few times, go two steps, two steps, two steps, two steps. All 
All right, guys. Now, we're going to go for a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to, we're going to go into this segment called Train Like a Boxo, Boxer. So during this time, what I want you to do is just go grab your equipment, go grab your water bottles or your dumbbells if you want. And remember to hydrate. I'll see you in a bit. Right, good afternoon guys once again this is sam from uppercut boxing now all right i hope you have your water bottles with you right now this next segment is called train like a boxer so a boxer works for three minutes and rests for one minute all right so for this next segment we're gonna follow that timing okay now today we're working on lateral footwork and with lateral footwork we're gonna work on throwing the punch from the same side that we've just stepped to so for example if you just step towards the left you're gonna throw a punch with your left hand, if you just step to the right, you're gonna throw a punch with your right hand. All right, that's because every time you step over to one side, your weight is always gonna be leaning on to one side. And you know in boxing where there is weight, there is power. Okay, so for this first round, this is your combination, real simple. Okay, starting with your front hand, jab, cross, and right after that cross, bring it back to your face, take a step towards the right, and you're gonna find that weight onto your right foot, and you're gonna come back with a cross, all right? So I'm gonna repeat that again, jab, cross, step to the right, cross, okay? We go on my count in three, two, and one. Jab, cross, take a step to the right, cross. Jab, cross, take a step to the right, cross, all right? Now, I want you to break it down, all right? It's two punches, one step, followed by another punch. So take it nice and slow first. After that cross, retract your hand back. Take a step to the right, but make sure to bring that left foot in. So step, step, cross, okay? Now, if you're starting to get a little bit all over the place, slow it down. Two punches, one step, and a cross. Two punches, one step, and a cross. If you find yourself, all right, moving all the way to the right, all right, reset, all right, to the left every single time you throw that combination. Jab, cross. Take a step, cross. Jab, cross, take a step, cross. So for this one, if you're left-handed, you wanna be stepping towards the right, uh, towards the left instead, all right? So if you're left-handed, it's jab, cross, cross, all right? Jab, cross, step left, cross. So from here on out, everything's gonna just be the opposite of what I'm saying. Five more seconds. In three, two, and time. Okay, now that you're more familiar with that movement, I want you to go ahead and pick up your water bottles. We're gonna put some extra work in right now. Okay, so five seconds, same combination. Jab, cross, step to the right, cross. If you're left-handed, it's the opposite, it's to the left. We go in three, two, and one. Jab, cross, take a step to the right, come back with that cross. Jab, cross, All right? Even when you're stepping, make sure to keep your hands up, power in with that cross, nice. Jab, cross, step right, cross. Jab, cross, step right, cross, okay? Now, make sure to keep both hands up, right? I know it's starting to weigh on you, these water bottles. Jab, cross, cross. All right, one more minute, guys. 
Now, for those of you a little bit more experienced at home, what I want you to do is this, okay? Start to move, all right? Start to get a little bit of that bounce in before you throw the punch, all right? You always want to stay moving, all right, before you throw the punch. So, bounce, jab, cross, step right, cross, reset, bounce, jab, cross, step right, cross. That's it. 30 seconds. Ten seconds. All right, feel that weight transfer. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now, next up, keep holding on to your water bottles. We're gonna go into our active rest. All right, straight punches. So the faster you pedal your feet, the faster your hands move. We go in three, two, and one. Thirty seconds. All right, on your straight punches. So notice this, all right? I'm not keeping my elbows out. My elbows are in and, all right? I turn my fist in by keeping my elbows in. And it only, all right, kind of tilts up when I turn my fist in as I bring it out from my face. All right, make sure your punches are leaving from your face as well. Last five seconds. Three, two, and time. Now, go ahead, put those water bottles aside. Next up, we're going to pick up a new combination from here. Now, on the earlier combination, we worked on stepping towards the right. On this one, we're going to work on stepping to the left. All right, so if you are a left-hander, you want to be stepping to the right for this next one. Okay, so this is the combination. Starting with your backhand, cross, front hook. All right, bring that front hook back to your face, step to the left, and come back with another front hook. So again, two punches, one step, followed by a punch. Cross, front hook, step front hook, all right? So backhand, front hand, step to the left, and front hand again. Cross, front hook, step to the left, front hook. Cross, front hook, step to the left, front hook. Now, again, if you're left-handed, you wanna be stepping towards the right for this one, all right? Cross, front hook, step to the left, front hook. So again, I want you to notice that weight shift. Every time you step, that weight drops onto one side, and that's the side that you want to come back with, okay? Cross, front hook, and again, okay? Make sure to step twice. I know it's a step to the left, but step and bring the other leg along with you and come back with that front hook. Cross, front hook, step, front hook. Cross, front hook, step, front hook. Cross, front hook, step, front hook. And make sure to keep both hands up, okay? Last five seconds, let's get one more in. And time. Now, now that you're familiar with that combination, we're gonna go ahead, put some extra work in. Pick up those water bottles with me now. Okay, again, cross, front hook, take a step to the left, front hook. We go in three, two, and one. So, if you think you got it, what I want you to do is this, all right? Be a little bit more nimble on your step, all right? So, when you step, again, you always want to be on the balls of your feet. Try not to stomp with those steps, okay? Cross, front hook, step, front hook. So, always on the balls of your feet. Forty more seconds. Nice, all right? Again, if you're not getting this, I want you to take it nice and slow. Remember, two punches, one step, followed by another punch. Starting with that backhand. 20 more seconds, guys. Ten seconds. Last five seconds. and time. Okay guys, continue hanging on to your water bottles. We're gonna go for our active rest and for our active rest for this time round, continuous uppercut. So bring the bottle up to your forehead, let it glide down slowly down to your chin and bring it up to your forehead again. All right, the faster you pedal your feet, the faster your hands move. Let's go on my count in three, two, one. 
30 seconds, continuous uppercuts. And, you know, in boxing, we call these shoe shines as well. So I want you to just look down at my feet, see how I'm just pedaling my heels to the ground. But the balls of my feet, all right, always engaged, always to the ground. A little bit like fast feet. In three, two, and time. Okay, now I want you to go ahead, put those water bottles down. Now from here, we're gonna put the first combination we learned and the second, second combination together into one long combination, okay? So for this combination, okay, You've done this before. On the first one, you go jab, cross, take a step to the right, you come back with a cross, and finish with a front hook, take a step to the left, and come back with a front hook. So breaking it down again for you, it's two punches, one step, two punches, one step, followed by one punch. Okay, let's go nice and slow first so that you get it. Jab, cross, step to the right, two punches, cross, front hook, Take a step to the left and come back with a front hook. Again, jab, cross. Take a step to the right, cross, front hook. And then take a step to the left, front hook. Okay, one more time, slow, jab, cross. Step to the right, cross, front hook. Step to the left, front hook. Jab, cross. Take a step to the right, cross, front hook. Take a step to the left, front hook. Let's start to pick up the pace. So we're bringing both steps into this combination. Stepping to the left and stepping to the right. Right, left. Jab, cross, right. Cross, hook, left. Front hook. Jab, cross, left, right. Cross, front hook, left. Front hook. And again, if you're left-handed, everything's the other way around. All right, let's throw one more. And time. Now, go ahead, pick up your water bottles. Now, this next one is a long combination, all right? So your shoulders are really gonna burn in this next one, okay? So again, nice and slow, jab, cross, step, cross, front hook, step again, and front hook. Let's go in three, two, and one. Step, step, all right? So two punches, step, two punches, step, finish with one punch, okay? So cross, front hook, step, front hook, jab, cross, step, front hook, right, cross, front hook, step, front hook. So feel that weight shift, always feel that weight shift, all right, it should come naturally to you every single time you step, all right, when you box, you're not just moving your hands, your entire body is moving as one unit for you to punch effectively, all right, every muscle in your body is engaged, every muscle in your body, all right, is, en is engaged for you to just land that one punch. Twenty seconds, guys. Last ten seconds. Just get two more in. One last one. Jab, cross, step right, cross, front hook, step left, front hook, and time. Now, next up, our next active rest, and this is called your flow. I want you to try to remember this because we're gonna bring it back right at the end of this workout. Okay, so this is your flow. Flow, what flow means is no real speed, no real power, and this is your flow combination. Jab, cross, front uppercut, back uppercut. So front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand. Let's go in three, two, and one. Now, like I said, flow, all right? You're not working any speed, not working any power. It's a chance for you to observe your technique. Make sure your hands are coming back and going to the right places. When you punch, it's going eye level, and when you are bring it back, you bring it back to your face. And if you already know how to box, okay, I want you to just freestyle your flow, anything you want. Last five seconds, in three, two, and one. Okay, now, in this last round, okay, we're gonna, it's your long combination round. All right, so we're gonna go for three minutes. Every 45 seconds, I'm gonna add on three punches, and by the third minute, you're gonna have a nine punch combination that you can be proud of, okay? So this long combination is gonna train your coordination. Front hand first, jab, cross, 
front uppercut, all right? Easy, front hand, back hand, front hand. Jab, cross, front up. So again with that uppercut, okay, when you throw that cross, your weight naturally drops onto your front foot. Okay, so that cross is doing the work for you already. And from that drop, drive into that front uppercut. Jab, cross, with that cross, your weight drops, front uppercut, jab, cross, front up, jab, cross, front up. Okay, so when you pivot that foot in on your cross, there's a natural drop onto your front foot, primed for you to throw that front uppercut. Jab, cross, front uppercut, jab, cross, front up, jab, cross, front up. Okay, now, make sure your hands are not coming back to your torso, up high at all times. Now, we're gonna add on another three punches from here. Jab, cross, up, that's where I left you. From here, all right, back hand is free. We're gonna go cross, jab, back up. So it's jab, cross, up, back hand free, cross, jab, up, all right? Now, those of you a little bit more experienced, I want you to go hard on those uppercuts, right? So hard exhale on those uppercuts. Jab, cross, front up, cross, jab, back up. Straight punches, uppercut, straight punches, uppercut. Okay, so working that coordination, it's front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand, front hand, back hand. Front, back, front, back, front, back. Front, back, front, back, front, back. So I want you to get comfortable. Now, from here, we're gonna add on another three more punches and that completes our nine punch combination. So this is where I left you. Jab, cross, up, cross, jab, up. As you can see, my back hand is out and my front hand is free. From here, we're gonna throw front hook, back hook, and finish with a front uppercut. So it's jab, cross, front uppercut, cross, jab, back uppercut, front hook, back hook, front up. All right, so it's hook, hook, up starting from your front hand on those last three punches. Come on guys, last 45 seconds, this finishes strong. All right, for those of you a little bit lost, I'm gonna go slow, keep your eye on me. Front hand, back hand, front hand, back, front, back, front, back, front. All right, now as the week goes by, we're gonna increase the complexity of these combinations, all right, but not too hard for you to follow. Jab, cross, front up, cross, jab, back up, front hook, back hook, Front up. Last 10 seconds, guys. Jab, cross, front up. Cross, jab, back up. Front hook, back hook, back up. In three, two, and time. All right, guys, all right, we're gonna go for a quick break. And when we come back, we're gonna hit our endurance set. Okay, so remember to hydrate, and I'll see you in just a bit. Hey guys, this is Sam again from Uppercut Boxing. Now, this is our last segment, and in this segment, we're gonna push, all right, your body to its limits. Now, on this next one, it's called an endurance set. Now, you don't get a boxer's body from boxing all day. This is some of the work that you don't see. So for this next one, you don't need any hand weights with, you don't need any hand weights, you don't need your water bottles, just your body weight. We're gonna work for six and a half minutes non-stop. That half a minute, it's gonna be placed in the middle, a quick break. Okay, so one set is three minutes, 
non-stop. We're going to work six exercises in, 30 seconds each per exercise, and we're going to cue you along the way. So in the first three minutes, you're just learning these exercises, and in the next three minutes, all right, I really want you to pick up the pace. Okay, so for your first exercise, sumo squats, all right? Now, you want to have your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed 45 degrees outwards, have your knees travel in the same direction as your toes, chest out, back straight, all right? And stay level, try not to look down, okay? We go on my count in three, two, and one. Sumo squats. Now, I want you to challenge yourself. Try to go below 90, hold it that half a second, and then come back up. All right, for now, for those of you, all right, here's a regression. You can go half squat and come back up all right, if you have some form of knee injury. Now, on the next one, we're going to go down into a high plank, into our push-ups in three, two, and one. Okay, now down into our push-ups. If you're on your knees, tuck your tailbone in. Make sure your elbows are going towards the back of your body. Engage your core so that your back doesn't flop. Now, as you go down, make sure your palms are right below off your chest. The more you think about that chest muscle, the more you're going to work that chest muscle. Five more seconds after this, I want you to stand right back up onto your feet in three, two, and one. Now, back up onto your feet, have both feet together, all right? And we're going to go forward lunges. Step back, forward lunge, step back, forward lunge, step back. Okay, so always keep your chest out back straight, back straight to stay balanced. The more you lean forward, the more you want to fall forward. Five more seconds and we're going to go back down and onto the ground. Two, one, and from here back down onto the ground. Feet shoulder width apart. From here, shoulder taps. Now notice this, every time you lift your hand to touch your shoulder, let's say it's my left hand, my hips are gonna wanna swing up. You have to engage your core to keep your body straight, okay? 10 seconds. Five seconds, I want you to stay. Three, two, one, and stay. From here, we're gonna go down into a low plank, come back up into a high plank. Commando push-ups. All while engaging your core, right? to try to keep your back from flopping or keep your lower back from falling to the ground, okay? 10 seconds on your commando push-ups. And after these 10 seconds, I want you to stay in that high plank. Three, two, and one. Stay, both feet together, mountain climbers. Let's go. Knees come to your chest. Feet that comes forward, doesn't touch the ground. Push your weight through your shoulders, make sure your bum's not too high and you're not running like this. Push your weight through your shoulders, palms right under your chest. Woo, last 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Now, 30 seconds of a breather. Quick sip of water if you want. And we're gonna repeat that whole sequence one more time, okay? So 20 seconds, we're gonna go back into your sumo squats. Now, if you wanna bring it a notch up, okay, you can turn that sumo squat into a squat jump or sumo squat into a tiptoe, okay? Or you can just stick to the sumo squat, that's up to you. You challenge yourself. We go in three, two, and one. Twenty seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Don't let that breath escape you. Fifteen seconds. And you know what comes after this. We're going down into our push-ups. Five seconds. Three, two, and down into your push-ups. All right. So again, if you're on your knees, all right, make sure you tuck that tailbone in. And here. I want to challenge those of you who think you can take it up a notch. On the last 15 seconds, push yourself an inch off the ground. Last 
last five seconds. And we're going to back up onto our feet in three, two, and one. Back up onto your feet, both feet together, forward lunges. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, down, push off your front foot, switch legs in the air, jump lunges, okay? If you don't want to, just simply walk in, walk out, up to you. Last five seconds, and we're going back down after this. Three, two, and one. Shoulder touches. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Now, option to take it up. All right, tap, tap, one push up. You can take that push up on the knee as well. Up to you. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, stay. All right. Commando push ups. So low plank. Back up to high plank. 20 seconds. Again, engage that core. Now, if you feel yourself gassing out, take your feet wider apart. Give yourself a bigger base. All right, come on, guys. Last five seconds. Three, two, and stay into our mountain climbers. Let's go. Now, this is where I want you, this is where you start to gas out. But this is when I want you to go slow. Don't stop. No matter what you do, don't stop. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Come on. As fast as you can. Last five seconds. Three, two, and time. Quick 30 second break. I know you're trying to catch your breath. All right, I know you're panting, but keep your ears open and keep your eyes on me. Now on this next one, all right, on this next one, core is our core round. Three minutes of core. On the first one, I want you to form a V with your body. Cup your ears, bring your elbows to your knees, and as you do so, bring your knees in. This is how it looks like. All right, let's go on my count in three, two, and one. Now, if you want, you can just hold it up for half a second and then let it go. All right, engage your course for that half a second. Get that, all right, get that ab crunch in and then release back into that V position. So half a second, release. Half a second, release. You're gonna feel your abs squeeze. All right, come on, 10 more seconds. All right, last five seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. Now, from here, stay onto the ground, all right? Feet, next up, we're going for bicycles. You wanna just take your feet all the way out. Cup your ears still, all right? R left knee, right elbow, right knee, left elbow. Okay, every time you bring that feet out, make sure you straighten your knees. We go on my count in three, two, and one, let's go. All right, I, now I don't want you to go fast on this. I want you to give me quality forms instead of quantity. The slower you take this, the more you're gonna feel it in those bottom two abs. Last 10 seconds. Last five seconds. Three, two, and one. Woo. Now, abs should be plenty tight right now. Now, next up, we're just gonna go for a 45 second low plank, and I want you to just hold it there, all right? Now, for your low plank, bum not too low, bum not too high, hold it where it hurts. Okay, we go in five seconds. So deep breath in, in three, two, and one, low plank. Now, some of you have your feet shoulder width apart or even wider. Now realize this, when you bring them close to each other, 
is going to be more of a challenge, all right, to keep yourself up. So if you want to give yourself that challenge, put both your feet together, push your weight through your shoulders. Keep breathing, guys. Keep breathing. Halfway through. 20 more seconds. 15. That's it. Come on, guys. Punch with your fist. Fight with your mind. It's all about that mental game right now. Last five seconds. In three, two, and time. Woo. Now, quick 30-second break. And this next round is our last round, all right? And in uppercut, we call it flow and work. You work for 20 seconds, you flow for 10 seconds. So remember your flow, okay? Jab, cross, up and up, all right? So we're gonna start with work. Your first work, speed, straight punches. If you want, you can pick up your water bottles now. Okay, we go in five seconds. Speed, straight punches in three, two, and one. Now, remember guys, the faster you pedal your feet, the faster your hands move. Make sure you're punching at eye level. Make sure your hands are coming back to your face. Faster you pedal your feet, faster your hands move in three, two, and flow. Again, if you know how to box, I want you to freestyle that flow. Two, one, and into shoe shines. Come on guys. You've done this before, you know how to do this. Up to your forehead, glide down your chin and back up to your forehead again. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and flow. And next one, it's called aggression. You put everything together, speed and power. Freestyle, aggression, let's go. Everything. And an uppercut, this is where you let it out. This is where you try to expend all your energy. All right, throw hard, fast punches in three, two, one, and flow. Now, for those of you new to freestyle, all right, a good place to start is to always pop that jab. It doesn't take much energy to pop that jab. Okay, in two, one, and back to our speed straight punches. Let's go, 20 seconds. After this, guys, a quick cool down, and we are done. Last 10 seconds. Last three, two, and one. Now, here's another variety to flow. Front up, back up, front hook, back hook. And three, two, one, shoe shines as fast as you can, run it up. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and flow. Now we're gonna go for a longer flow here. And on this last aggression, I want you to give me everything you got, all right? Now, if you had a long week, all right, now's the time, let it out. Right before you carry on with the day, before you move on into the weekends. We go in three, two, one. Let's go. Aggression, power, speed, emotion, all of it. Come on. 10 seconds. Last three, two, and time. Great work, guys. Now just join me down here for a bit. If you want, put your bum down. We're gonna go for a nice slow cool down before we end the day. Okay, now bums onto the ground, both your feet together. I just want you to cup your toes and when you're ready, pull yourself back, lean back. You're gonna feel that stretch on your inner thighs. Two, one, release. Now, let's go, right foot out, deep breath in, two, one, and reach. All right, I want you to keep your knees straight. Okay, if you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Hang on to your calves or hang on to your ankles. Two, one, right arm over. 
two, one, release. Now let's switch foot, left foot out, deep breath in. And again, reach. Two, one, and release. Now let's go left arm over. Two, one, and release. Now from here, all right, I want you to get into that downward dog. Look in between your feet, pedal your calves out. Now next up, bring your right foot to your right palm. Drive your hips into the, gr into the ground, get that deep stretch in. Two, one, release, switch foot, left foot to the outside of your left palm, stretch. Two, one, release. Four feet out, I want you to just walk both your knees in between your forearms. Okay, put your heels onto the ground. Give yourselves a little bit of a hug. And I want you to thank yourself, thank your body for the last 50 minutes. Okay, and I want to thank you for joining me this Friday. I wish all of you happy holidays. Wish all of you an amazing weekend. And once again, this is Sam from Uppercut Boxing. I'll see you next week. Thank you.